Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a Merry Christmas from my family to your family. Uh, sorry for the lack of uh, uploads for ice fishing. Haven't been out to do any ice fishing yet. Been dealing with some issues here with the vehicles and I've been ill too, so it's a little bit difficult to get out there. So we're working on this heater here. As you could tell from that intro there, we've got a problem. So we got a good flame and it's not staying lit once we let go of our pilot. When we let it go, it doesn't stay lit. So did some looking up on it and I was thinking it was the thermal couple. And that's this guy right here. And what that does is it senses the flame. It doesn't sense the flame, if the flame's not hitting it, if it doesn't sense it, then that's bad and it, it, it shuts off. I mean, so that's one issue. And the other issue, which happens to be my issue, and I'll explain how I figured that out, is the tip over switch. There's a little switch and it's got a little rocker in it or something. I don't know the technical, I don't know what it, I don't know exactly what it's like on the inside, but. You can hear it when you move the part, and when it tips, it shuts off the, the heater. It shuts off the gas, everything, so you don't have any gas leaking. It's a safety mechanism. Really great when you're in the shelter, the wind is blowing, and it happens to hit the side of your shelter. Tips over your heater, you're good. You're safe. But without that, you're not. So one of the things you can do to figure that out is there's two wires to go into that, that switch connect those two wires and if it runs and stays lit while you lift up your lift the button lift off the pilot you're good to go that's the issue so then you can just call and get the part parts aren't very expensive just gotta wait for it and then you gotta dig in to get it done now thankfully it's not that hard of a, um, a procedure all right guys let's just jump right into it here and you know, if you like this kind of stuff, we'll do more of it. And, you know, hit that subscribe button, help me grow this channel. Hit that red notification bell so that way you can see when these upload. And let's get after it here. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on the chest mount here. It's gonna be easier to handle everything. So before you start this work, if you've got a hose, undo the hose, but take, take your canister out here. And here, you know, you can right, go ahead, you're gonna have to pop this this off. Comes off kind of kind of snug. And then what you'll start with now is up here. You're gonna take these three screws out, it takes off this back, this back part of the handle here. You can also lay this down too. Makes life a little easier. It's not gonna hurt anything. Gotta find that screw, there it is. Okay, so you just you can leave the screws in if you want. Just be mindful that they're in there so you don't you grab them and they tip and fly everywhere. Next, we'll do these screws here so there's Four screws here, right here, and that takes off this back panel here. And then now this lid comes out a little bit like that, and then it pops up. There's a notch inside here that I'll show you. So just gonna pop it up, get out. So you see these things right here? Those ones are for these little loops right here. So it goes up, slides in and pops down. Now in some of the other instructions I've seen, from here, they, they, they instruct you to take off both sides here. Uh, you will end up doing that 
to get to the thermal couple, but we don't need to, we just need to get to this side. So with that said, I'm not gonna take all take this side off yet. But both sides are done similar. So you just gotta do whatever you do to this side, you'll do to this side. Next, get back here. So start working on this side here. We got two more screws. We got one here and we got one in here. We're gonna take those off for the handle. And then we got this screw in here. So we'll take this guy out. Now this handle will pop out there. Now we just tip it on its front. And then we got these screws right here. We only need to take out this one. You can take out this one, but you gotta pop this, this foot, rubber foot out. But I found you don't need to get to this screw to take this off. This is just a plate to strengthen this in here. So just take this screw off. And like I said, too, if you're gonna do the other side, you could do this one too. You know, just mirror what you're doing to this side. So we'll take this one off now. There's that. Now we can actually pop, work on popping it out. I'll open this up here and I'll show you why. So when you start popping it out here, be careful for this piece right here. This plastic piece, you don't want to pry this, pry on this part too much. So just kind of be mindful, just kind of help guide it out when you do pop it out. And then the other thing you be careful for is, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think I can get my screwdriver in there. But right in here, there is a little metal clip that you just pry open a little bit to make your life easier. Otherwise you can break the plastic. I can take it out too and there you go. You might be able to see that there. Just pry it out and then pry it up just this way a little bit and it'll, it'll pop out a little bit nicer for you. So we'll just work this out. Start up at the top here. It's coming out nicely. And you see the backside here. See how it's moving, coming out. And then we're hitting on here. So we're just pop it past that there. See that? Now we work on this piece in here. The hands are going to be in the way. Can't escape that. Sorry. See that? I didn't move it very much. And then you have that. And it just comes right off. Just like that. Very easy, actually. It's not bad at all. And right here is your tip over switch. So what we'll do is we'll just tip it on its side here. All right. So these are the two wires that you connect. You just uh, pop them off. Didn't see that, sorry. Yeah, the camera tilted up too far. Just pop them off. Take some electrical tape. Oh, this is a fresh roll. Okay. And then just uh, connect them together. Now this is just a temporary connection. This is just to test it, okay? Now I already know what's going on, but I'm just going through the process for you guys so you know how I figured it out and what's what what worked for me. All right, there. Now they're connected. Now we're gonna put it back. To, I'm gonna put it back together. And I'm gonna try it. I'll show you how to put it back together here too. Now going back together, putting it back together. It takes a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of uh, finesse work here because you got a couple different components that you got to line up. Because you got this this little clip here that's gonna fight you a little bit, and you got this little piece here that's go underneath and slide in, and then you got these guys here, these here that have to come on the outside here, and, you know, just like that. And then you still got to get 
get this clip in here. So, just kind of get it set down on there. And then line these up on the outside. Don't forget about this piece in here. Guide that in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so these sides are lined up. That's semi lined up. That clip is lined up. So let's just pop that clip in. There we go. See, the gap is closed here. Come back here. We've got our tabs here where we want them. The tab up in here where we want it. Now, for this purpose of just testing it, I'm, I'm not going to put it all the way back together. I just kind of wanted to put that in there just so that way we can stand it up. So I don't recommend doing this. Just put our canister back in here. Put our knob back on here. All right, now, now we're gonna test it out here. Now I'm gonna go down, turn on the pilot. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's the flame. There's touch in the thermocouple. We release. There it is. Pilot stayed on. Turn on to low. There's the flame. You probably can't see the flame, but she's there. You can turn up on high. There it is. I don't know if you saw the flame kick on this other side here. She's running. I'm going to turn off the light here. That maybe you'll see a little bit better. A little bit. See the blue flame there? She's not red yet, but it's there. So that's telling me it's definitely that tip, 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 uh, tip over switch. So now all we do, well, let that cool down a little bit, just a little warm, let it cool down, and then I'll start taking, we'll start, uh, we'll take it back apart, and I'll show you how to put that tip over switch back in there, or put the new one in. This is actually that, that switch. The new one. I already showed you that was on there, but here it is up close. Okay, so it actually sits like this, and see if you can listen and hear this. Hear that? So when it tips, it moves. The sensor moves it in there and shuts it off. All right. So it's cooled down enough. So. First, remember, just take our, uh, our fuel source out of here. Let's pop this up. Oop, nice catch. Yeah, well, let's just pop her back out here. All right, do that. That. Look at that, we're back in business here. All right, now. Tilt her down. Now, you're going to uh, undo these guys here. I don't think it matters what it, what uh, order you take these screws off. Just remember how it went on there. Grab the other one here. Sorry, can't see that. There we go. Put the screws back in there. So there's that. Now let's just uh, pop these back on here. Put this guy on. And put this plastic sleeve down. This one's next. 
thing. Plastic sleeve down. There it is. New, old. Not sure what causes these things to go out. It sure does look like it's broken. Oh. There's, there is a noise in there now, now that I hear it. There is a noise in there that's not supposed to, an extra rattle. That's not supposed to be there. That's it. Now, all we do is put it back together. So we'll set it back up here. And you get to watch me battle. Battle to put this thing on again. Start lining up some of the other sides. Okay, looks like our clip is uh, lined up in there. And we gotta worry about that piece in there. Just start squeezing it together here. There she is. Okay, we got it on there. That wasn't too bad. Now, let's put this, uh, we'll put our one metal screw up here first. Got her. Now let's just uh, tip it on its front. So you remember we got one more. Going right here. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two screws in to tighten up this handle here. Here. Okay, so now we'll put this back panel on. Remember about these these guys right here. That's where these sit. It's gonna slide up this slot here. Well actually these are gonna slide down. So you just get it in there high enough like that. Push down. I was going to show you something else, but you push down right here in the center and it kind of pops back down there too. Okay. Okay. We gotta put these on. Let's do this. Okay, so grab the handle. I still got my screws in there. I'll just line it up. Just like so. Just like that. And uh, go ahead and just put those screws in and test it out. Now we're all back together here. Oh, <laughs> except for a knob. Here's our knob here. Put that back on. Okay, let's put our uh, fuel in here. Let's give her a go. All right. One more truth. Down. Start it. Just a couple times. Release. There she is. Flame is pallet still on. It's hanging there. Flame is touching the uh, thermal couple. Now let's uh, turn up a little bit higher here. Turn turn to low. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you saw that flame burst there, but uh, it's running. It's working. Turn up on high here. Or medium. All the way high here. There you go. See that flame there too. Fired up this side. We're good to go. Well, there you have it. Pretty simple fix. Not it doesn't take a lot. Screwdriver, you know, maybe pliers. Uh, yeah, pretty easy little fix here. Uh, it's just frustrating when it happens. And now you know a little bit of a trick if it were to happen out on the lake. You know, stranded where at lake or if you're using this in a hunting shack, wherever you're at that happens 
Well, now you know just bypass that tip over switch and that might be your problem. If it is, hey, there you go. You got a temporary fix until you can get back and get a part and get it fixed. And uh, it, these have a one year warranty on them, factory warranty. So if anything goes bad on them before within that one year of purchase, they send you that part free of charge. And that's what they did for me. So this video is probably a little bit longer than uh, usual, but I wanted to put a little bit more in depth on, on this and uh, you know how I found my problem, what I did, and how I took care of it. Ready to go and didn't cost anything but a little bit of time. Uh, and fortunately, even if it wasn't within warranty, you can get these parts online. You can call you know, Mr. Heater you know, yourself and get those parts. You give them your serial number that's on the back and they'll get you the, the right part. And they'll even help you out too. If you're exact, not really sure what's going on and nothing's working, you know, they're really good about it. They'll help you out. They'll, uh, or they'll help you figure it out. They'll give you some things to do to try. But if you guys like this kind of stuff, don't forget, co like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully we can get out to some ice fishing here soon. We'll try to get out there as soon as we can. And try to get some more, get some ice fishing content out there for you guys. But until then, catch you later.